everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack That, Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me, Priyasha Das, and today I am up with a new solution video for the previous cubes and dices video which I had on my channel. So towards the end of that video, I kept a question for all of you to answer and also mentioned that this will not only require what you learned in that video, but a bit more than that. And that is what I'm going to explain in today's video. So those who are new to this channel and have come right now directly on this video, I would suggest you to just click on that I button at the top, which will direct you to the previous video so that you learn the concepts there. Otherwise, you can also refer to the description box or the first comment of this video to first go learn the concepts and the ways of solving these cubes and dices questions from the previous video. It would hardly take five minutes and then come back to this video and try to learn something new over here. So let's get started with the solution. The question asks us to find out which one side will be opposite to the side having two points on the surface. So using the same principles which we learned in the last video, we would first be focusing on the figures which are having two in the visible end. So this is figure number one and figure number three, which has two both at the top. Now we can find out that 3, 5, 1 and again 3 are adjacent to 2. So when they are adjacent to 2, that simply means that they cannot be opposite to 2. And at the same time, 2 itself cannot be the opposite. So we can say that 2 cannot be the answer, 1 cannot be the answer, 3 cannot be the answer and 5 cannot be the answer. So the leftover numbers are 4 and 6. Now with this, you can easily eliminate two options directly then now we will be confused between whether 4 is the opposite or 6 is the opposite. Now, as I told you in the last video, that it would require a bit more effort to solve this question. And what was that bit more effort I was talking about? Basically, I was talking about the concept of visualization. So this is another concept which just takes you a level up in these kind of questions, in these kind of questions, if you have to apply visualization, then we as question paper setters call it a level two question for cubes and dices. So when we apply the visualization process, we see that which of the following figures are having a little change in their, uh, we can say the image, like we can see here, two and three are repeated, two and three are repeated. So this means that 2 and 3 remain constant in its position and I'm just photographing the cube from the left and the right side. So if I just change the angle of photography for this cube just from left to right, then I'll very clearly understand that this will nothing be but 1 and 5 being opposite to each other. And this we can also prove by figure number two and figure number four. If you carefully observe six and four are here and six and four are here. And the only pair which is opposite to each other is five and one. So again, we can finalize that five and one will be opposite to each other. But will it affect our answer? <laughs> Not really. Let's see. For getting our answer, we need to visualize that if 2 is at the top, then what should be at the bottom? And for doing all these things, I would just clear off these annotations and I would let you know about the visualization process. In the visualization process, we will be considering few things very, very clearly. The first thing which you need to keep in your mind is that when you are keeping two things similar in the position, then you will have to judge what changes. Like let us consider five here in figure number one and figure number two. Let us consider the face which is having five dots. If you carefully observe the face which is having five dots is present on the right side in both the cases. Meaning when this will be possible in a normal cube, this is visualization process. So please pay attention over here. If we just flip the cube upside down, if we just flip it upside down, we will see that the right hand side will still remain on the right hand side and the left hand side will still remain on the left hand side. The changes will occur only on the front side 
and at the top side top bottom front back so here we see that the changes which occur is the front earlier was 3 and now is 4 and the top earlier was 2 and now is 6 so this gives me a slight indication that 2 is opposite to 6 and 3 is opposite to 4 but just to confirm this fact i will again go to figure number 3 and figure number 4 so in figure number 3 and figure number 4 i can observe that one is in the front side in both the cases so if one is in the front side in both the cases again this will be possible only when i flip the cube or the dice in such a way that the front side remains the same so the other two sides would which would change is the top will become the bottom and the left will become the right and keeping that in mind again the combination sets very clearly that 2 was at the top and now 6 is at the top that means 2 and 6 are opposite to each other and 3 was on the right and now 4 is on the right so 3 and 4 are opposite to each other so the pairs are 1 5 3 4 and 2 6 so the answer to this question would be 6 and this can be achieved only by adding visualization to the previous concepts we learned in the previous video. So this was another category of question which we did for cubes and dices. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Share it with your friends because it might reach a needful person and stay tuned for more videos because I'll be up with a new video daily. So until we meet again, please take care and thanks for watching.